Hey guys, welcome to Table Talk. I'm Joe Beretta. Oh, fuck me. Hey guys, welcome to Table Talk, the show where we take your suggestions and topics from places like Twitter with the hashtag Table Talk or SourceFed or r slash SourceFed over at Reddit. I'm Joe Beretta. My name's Will DeFranco. I'm Meg Turney. I haven't done the intro forever. That was weird and awkward. Let's get into it. Yay! <laughs> at Forest Kid 8 says, how do you guys feel about guys taking selfies? I've gotten a lot of crap for it. You take a lot of selfies. Yeah. You're like a selfie a day type I of guy. I have low <laughs> self-esteem is what happens. Um, I am. Yeah, my man. favorite are when you're just like, just hanging out, and it's like a super cute photo. It's not like I'm as bad as like, my girlfriend caught me. Bay caught me slipping. <laughs> <laughs> Ba-boom, stomach. Yeah. <laughs> or, or like, I think that it's it's messed up. I've done it before, but I haven't done it in a while where it's like the, the sleeping or the sleepy, and you have your eyes closed, because I think then it's different. <laughs> Sometimes... I take a lot. I take selfies to show people the new shirts that we're making. Oh. That's what I'm gonna say. Hey, I think I don't care. I take selfies too. I think yeah, but it's also it's different if a girl does it. Oh. That's that for the most part. A lot of people go, oh, is it different? Yeah. I mean, it's. I think it's got a different reaction. Like I don't look at a girls and go, yeah. I look at a guys and go, boo. I just don't look at guys selfies. I, like I, they Why? don't do anything for Why, me, bro. Dude, I'm, I'm straight up chick banging. <laughs> And Mary, I what? like how your example was like a guy going like, ugh, abs, and I'm like, I'd look at that. <laughs> well, yeah, so, so what's your opinion know. of guys doing selfies? Yeah, I don't feel like I look at it and go like, oh, what a loser, he's taking a selfie. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, it's a selfie. Way. Like, oh, cute. I, I, in general, even when I do them every once in a while, tend to think selfies are dumb. Oh. It's like the least interesting photo that you can take. Well, so what about if it's a selfie and then there's also someone else in the frame? That's a picture. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a huge hypocrite, though, because, yeah, when I see a guy making a selfie, I'll be like, douche. And then, and then I'm like, <laughs> you're like, this is my face I made when I looked at this dude's douche <laughs> selfie. You know. Wait, would that be self-ception? Is that, yeah. man. But self-ception. I didn't know it was a thing, that a guys taking selfies was an annoying thing. Mm. You know what? Whatever. Now you do. Yeah. Jack Rose, Rose Slay. I'm fucking your name up so bad. <laughs> Jackie. Jackie R says, if you could have an endless supply of anything besides money, what would it be? Uh, I'd make an endless supply of money-making machines. I beat your question. Oh, your oh! question is irrelevant. Uh, I want an endless supply of wishes. Oh. <laughs> okay. I literally was like, miniature dachshunds. I and you guys to... had great <laughs> answers, and mine was like, puppies. The problem with table talk, there's no problems with table talk, is so that some problems. of these questions, like, you want the, just, like, that extra moment. Yeah. You want five more minutes to formulate mm-hmm. something better, because I'm trying to think of what is the one thing that I would really want a lot of and actually have it be a good well, answer. Well, the thing and is, what you, what you do is you walk out of here and you go, and people, and the writers on they go like, oh, what'd you guys get asked? And you go like, what would you have like an endless supply of? And then it's like the best answer comes to you and you're like, son of a bitch, I no. should have thought of it. And inevitably, uh, usually, like let's say 40% of the time you're going to do the joke answer. So I'm yeah. like, wishes. And then uh, like wishes 20% of, 20% of the time you're going to go like super cheesy douche. You're like, I would want an endless supply of understanding. Oh. And world peace, but you I very think, rarely. I thought the douche answer was like untouched vagina. <laughs> like, when do you Wait, get are to... we fans of untouched vagina? Maybe like a lady who's like, oh, I'm so shy. I'm Meg likes that. virgins. <laughs> yeah, I don't, know. I don't think I've ever had sex with a virgin. <laughs> Easy. Uh, never mind. Yeah, Meg either likes virgins or women that have been locked in like dungeons. Were for you about to say virgins are easy? I was gonna say like the, never. I don't know where I was going. <laughs> where? I just want to know the stories. Yeah. Now. No. Yeah. Get rid of that. I was one. gonna say like they're easier so for like you know Doxin, lesbian though. experience. Yeah. Let's go with dachshunds. Dachshunds is a great. God, I don't know what it is. Food. I want my I want supply of food that I never have. See, I was thinking about. food, but then I'm like, I'm just gonna get gonna fat, go like crazy. Give it away. Last night, mm. I uh, I was uh, I wasn't intoxicated. I was enjoying California, and uh, <laughs> thanks to Eat Twenty Four, I was able to order eight chocolate chip cookies to my house. <laughs> and then, like immediately after, I was like, I hate myself. The thing that like all of like the Grubhubs and the Seamlesses is like, I don't want to wait an hour. Like I'd rather take the twenty minutes to go get it and come back. I was not able to drive. Okay, well then you do wait. <laughs> I many a time have been like, da, 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 and then it's like a magician has arrived at your house that you forgot you ordered food to, and, and it's then, like, how did you know I wanted the guy, pizza? The guy ends up showing up and I, I always feel judged because he's like it's 10 at night and you just ordered eight cookies he's just and staring a glass at of milk. No, he, he you knows. open that door and he's like here you go you fucking stoner. Yeah, he knows what's happening. He's just like uh, he's a part of it. Here we go. Oh I think it's is it just There's so many oh. things like I could have a tap on the wall with a never ending supply of beer coming out but maybe if I could rotate the beer that would be amazing. Steak so much good stuff. Uh, at Jeff LaFont says 
bucket list. Do you guys have in, have one? And if so, what are three things on it you have not accomplished? I want to travel the world. <laughs> Boom. Um, already jumped out of a plane. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Okay, you guys go. I'll try to think of two others. So you definitely, <laughs> definitely travel question. the world. Um, I want to uh, get my uh, advanced water cert, because right now I only have an open water. Uh, so I want to I wanna scuba dive some oh, yeah. shipwrecks. I think that'd be that'd really be cool. fun. Um, and I'm trying to think about a third. You keep going. God, I so definitely want to go to Japan. Okay. Uh, I would like to be in either Maxim, FHM, or Stuff. We've talked about this. Definitely want to be in one of those magazines. And uh, I'd also like to go to Foy, Belgium, to the forest there. It's a Wait, World War II thing. It's a Band of Brothers thing. Uh, talk to me about it. I don't know what that is. Help they, me out. Um, they fought, and there's actually, a, if you watch the TV series, mm -hmm. they, they cover uh, the bat like they cover the battle in the forest pretty heavily. Yeah. But um, Easy Company was kind of stuck in this forest outside of Foy, Belgium, and uh, they're supposed to be, I think it's like dark woods there, like the black, like, Black mm -hmm. Forest, something, something similar, so in the same area. But anyway, I'd like to go out there because cool. I'm very like yeah. into World War II and Band of Brothers. Yeah. So, cool. so travel, like we there. all want to just see this. Yeah. Well, I think that's everyone. That we're I think that's yeah. Yeah, that's most yeah. everyone. I, I go through like I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. And depending on how f good I feel about my life at, the, at that time, I fear flying. Like mm -hmm. I'm really happy, but I feel like I have a lot I to accomplish, it. so I'm terrified of flying. Yeah. But when I'm like in a really good place, I'm like, we're good. I'll, I'll, I'll get drunk. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. Third would be jetpack, jet maybe. Pack. I like. I can't think of life ones. It's kind of rough. I've got like stupid like career goals. Like if I was to continue acting and doing stuff, I have acting goals. Like I want to die in a movie. Yeah. Oh. Like they're stupid acting goals. They're not like real ones. It's not like I want to star. I want to die in a movie. I want to be in a baseball movie in the World War Two movie. That's, That's awesome. It. Those are awesome. Yeah. Small thing. yeah. That's really good. Yeah, I want to be murdered in a movie. <laughs> <That'd be> cool. <laughs> Make it happen, Hollywood. <laughs> Make it happen. <laughs> Um, yeah, my third one. I was like, I was like, do I want a threesome? I don't think I want a threesome. <laughs> it's like, not a is that on my bucket list? Like, I have yeah, to I was like, do I don't think it is. Because <laughs> yeah. like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, Jeremy Waters says, "What is your favorite thing that you wish more people knew about? Album, game, food, whatever sound stands out in your mind." Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I would like to have more people to talk to about Battlestar Galactica. That would be really, really fun. Mm. Doctor I feel like there are a lot of people like Battlestar Galactica. No, there's a lot of people, but I just don't know a lot of them. Mm. You don't know. Need to watch. <laughs> like when I talk to, to Lindsay, like she she definitely likes different things. One thing we both like uh, would be baseball. Mm. That's like the only common ground <laughs> we have as far as, oh, as really? likes. Yeah, well, yeah. That, it's fun because like she introduces me to other things. Like I probably would have never gone. Oh, scuba she was diving. a huge Braves. That's right. Yeah, she was a Braves girl. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> But they're I'm good gonna, now. Braves are good now. Yeah, they're really solid. Yeah, that's a fun team to watch. Upton and Upton. Yeah, man. That's good stuff. <laughs> but let's see. Uh, uh, the Deer Hunter is something I wish people, more people... The know. movie? The, no, uh, the band. Oh, D -E the band. D-E-A-R. There's one D-E-E-R, not as good. D-E-A-R, amazing. Also, okay. Dredge, who I showed you that you liked. Mm -hmm. They're a great band also. Um, yeah, this is kind of coming down to what are the things that you like question. Uh, I wish... Uh, I'm going to get you to read that book. The what Sparrow. Book? My favorite book is oh. The Sparrow. <laughs> It's good. It's good. God. And the sequel is amazing. It was like, I had 50 pages just, I hate this. The beginning's this. a little slow. <laughs> I hate this so, so much. much. I love when people say that about the book. They're like, listen, just trudge through the first mm -hmm. three-fourths. It's like, so remember, I wouldn't recommend a book if the whole thing. No, yeah, here, here's, okay. here's how my experience of The Sparrow was. <laughs> remember like when you were in school and you read something and you were like, oh, I got to finish this. Uh -huh. I hate this. And then I, I had completely forgotten that, about that because I was reading John Green books, I was reading Catch and Fire, I was going Fahrenheit. Uh, and I <laughs> brought you back. Yeah, and then and I was like, oh my God, I just, I must have been an idiot. I hated reading. Why? And then you brought it all back. To me. <laughs> well, it's too bad you didn't finish it. There will be a test at the end. Of one day, one day I will, I will do it. It just is miserable. I like, I like enjoying things. I'm reading John Green's oh, book wait. now. Which one? Uh, the Fault in Our Stars. I just picked. Oh my it up. God, so no! The Fault in Our Stars. No! The Fault in Our Stars is probably the best. Uh, I'm, I'm going through Abundance of Catherines, <laughs> looking for Alaska's really. John Green's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, but I think he like, he hit it with uh, the Fault in Our Stars. I want to read it. It's your turn, Joe. Is it mine? Okay, last one. Last one. Just going to speed round this kind of. Uh, duh, 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 duh. When are you too old to be living with your parents? It's different these days, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, uh, I think it's like, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's okay. You should always strive to not be, but I don't think it's looked down on yeah, I think uh, as it's much as it used to be. I, I mean, I, I, I would say 18 just because I went thing. straight to college and I lived in the dorms and stuff. I feel like if you don't 
go to college. That was amazing. If you don't go to college or if you're you're living at home to like cut costs, maybe when you graduate college, then I think you're you yeah, gotta think, go out and make your own way. Yeah, I think it kind of depends. If you if you don't have the cash, there's no there's no shame in staying yeah. home, going to community college for like the first two years. Just do something. Saving up. Yeah. Don't just stay sense. at home. That being said, I left when I was 17 because my home life was not mm-hmm. fun, uh, and I like. But I also graduated early. Didn't have yeah. to like. There's a lot to be parents. said for independence and, and uh, becoming your own human totally. being. Staying at home is fine if you're striving to be a better person and you're striving to take the next step. If you're just freaking sitting on a couch and not doing anything, oh, yeah, then it's not worse. trying to become a better person, then you're not a good person. Yeah, because you, you got to use it as, not not so much as a, a crutch, but a, a launching platform. Mm-hmm. Yes, a springboard, <gasps> if you will. Yep. Oh, there you go. That was way there better. It is. I like rockets Speaking more, of but launching you're... things. <laughs> Springboards on rockets. <laughs> <Fuck> uh, <laughs> best product integration ever. Segway. <laughs> I'm excited. Also, just before I get all the ladies going, I can't believe Phil made Meg do that. I wait, no, wait a second. I took the photo and then I go, Phil, look, I want to make this a poster, and then it became a poster. So. And I was like, so I'm much Meg is fun. constantly laying on beds and taking pictures, and this Which just happens weird. to be one that she wanted. In to celebration, sell. I'm wearing the bra that's actually in the photo today, and I know you two are also. Yeah. Prove it. Same bra. No, don't uh-uh, actually, use no, your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> but I, what is it up now? It is up now. I love it's asking questions I know the answer to. <laughs> I'm it such a now? fucking tool. It oh is my most, like, TV moment you've and ever done. And there are unsigned and signed versions, and it's the only way to get a signed anything from me right now. All my prints are gone, so boom. We burned them in a fire. She cried. That's not true. I was like, take it, Turney. Oh god. It was like burning Next books, guy that dates not. Turney, you gotta say that. <laughs> take it, Turney. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, 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 Phil. Where can we find this poster on the Philip DeFranco network? Oh, well, if you go to fourhumanpeoples.com, <laughs> it'll probably be her naked body all over the website for the next 48 hours. <sighs> Ding! <laughs> That's it for Table Talk. <laughs> Thanks for sending in your questions on hashtag Table Talk and r slash source bed. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Philip DeFranco. I'm Joe Beretta. That's what two college degrees get you, laying on a bed in a bra. <laughs> <laughs> And that's supposed to happen. That happens in college. I like that someone literally yesterday, since it was laying out there, like covered it up <laughs> with a shirt. They're like, no. <laughs>